Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. This is Sev here for you guys that don't know who I am and I told you guys in my update video that I'm gonna be starting to play Ultimate Mission X on the channel on Thursdays and Fridays and today guess what is Thursdays the very first Thursday of December December 6th I believe so you guys will be definitely having a lot of fun with these upcoming videos or should be having fun with the upcoming videos that I have planned for the channel when it comes to Ultimate Mission X but enough of talking let's go ahead and get into the game right now now this game is entirely in Japanese for you guys that don't know there is a patch a fan patch out um, if you use a modded 3DS, I couldn't honestly get that patch to work with my emulator. And again, I do own the game, the physical copy of the game, but I am playing this on Citrus so you guys get better quality instead of trying to see it from my, you know, 3DS, uh, screen. And even then, when I try to record the 3DS screen on my computer, um, I have to stream it over to it because, again, there's no capture card for the 3DS. So the quality even then is still bad, even though it's like a direct stream from my system or my handheld to my computer. So this is the best way to give you guys the perfect quality. But anyways, anyways, here we go. So we got to pick if we're going to be a boy or a girl. So this is, uh, for you guys that don't know, this is Beat and this is Note right here. I did pick Note in the update video that you guys may have watched, so I think I'm going to go ahead and stick with her and see what she can do in the future. Um, I'm not going to give up on her right now. <laughs> now, I think I can do a name. Oh, wait, never mind. Sorry. I'm trying to skip ahead. So I can still pick my avatar, um, in-game avatar, apparently. And we got Beat. We got this uh, Boo, Majin Boo type of character. I can't remember his name. Uh, we got Note. I believe this is... Um, Froze, I think. I think that's his name. I can't remember. Um, he came back out so long ago with one of those original uh, Heroes trailers. Um, then we got this Namekian. I never learned his name. And then this is pretty... I think this is pretty new to Ultimate Mission X. You know, if you're playing the 3DS version, the Android, uh, the Android race. And then we have the Supreme Kai race. And this actually looks really cool. I like the design of this one. But I think I'm going to stick with a Saiyan just because, you know, I grew up with Saiyans. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and pick Note again one more time. And then hopefully, hopefully we can get her to become a Super Saiyan God in this game later on. It's going to take a while, but I want to see her as a Super Saiyan God, so that's my plan. Um, now, crap, I wish these honestly just had English letters, because I don't know what the heck I'm going to be naming her um, in the game. But let's see. Um, how about this? You guys can give a name to my character if you guys are watching my playthrough, um, no matter what... Uh, kind of uh kanji or symbols i can't i'm pretty sure they're called kanji um that i have picked for her so if you guys want to give me a name down in the comment section below uh that would be honestly great so this way we can give her a real a real name uh but for now i'm gonna call her notes until the next video so if you guys please definitely you know drop some name suggestions down there below so i can you know give her a right name or proper name actually i should say uh, but so far this game's actually re looking really good. Ah, I can't talk. <laughs> this game is looking really good on Citra, actually. I can't believe how well Citra has been updated. I haven't used this uh, emulator in a long, long time. So this is honestly great for any 3DS game that you own that you want to kind of play in a better quality. So, again, if you own the games, definitely give this a shot. Alright, so we got a Capsule Corp Giru. Um... This guy, I'm, I don't care what his name is. I'm just going to call him Giru all the time. Or Bob. I don't know. <laughs> okay, that's all done. He just dabbed on us. Did, did he just dab on us? I think he just dabbed on us. So Giru was the first person. No, no, not Giru. Giru. Probably the, probably the Ginyu Force. I was going to say Giru was the first one that dabbed. But the Ginyu Force was probably the first one that actually dabbed in Dragon Ball. So I take that back. Alright, Goku, stop talking to us. I want to get into the world right now. Now, again, guys, this is all for preparation for uh, Super Dragon Ball Heroes uh, World Mission that's coming out on the Switch. Again, there is no release date except for 2019. That's the window for the release. Um, but I'm assuming... I'm assuming uh, springtime, usually... I mean, that's usually a good time for games to come out. Um, you don't want to kind of push it down into the winter because a lot... Uh, other a lot more other games are going to be coming out and honestly if they release super dragon ball heroes uh, for the switch around that time it could probably get outshined in japan even um, definitely over here if it's being localized um but i want it at least in springtime so this way we have a lot of time to enjoy the game and it's still kind of around the release of you know even though uh super dragon ball or not super dragon ball dragon ball super broly is out in january it's still fairly close to that release so they can do some kind of marketing you know 
marketing tactics to kind of get people to buy the game. Be like, oh, if you buy the game now, if you buy the game now, you can get Broly from uh, the Super Dragon Ball movie, blah, 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 you know, and play as a legendary Super Saiyan or a full power Super Saiyan since he's not being called legendary anymore, <laughs> which is kind of stupid. I mean, the full, I don't, I honestly like the new design and the new look uh, a new story for Broly so far. If you guys have noticed the spoilers for the movie, um, they they wrote him a lot better than they did in the original three movies, and I love that. I love his design. I love the backstory for him, as far as we know. Um, but the name Full Power Super Saiyan, that's just so generic. It's so generic. They could have gave us something, you know, different. I mean, we already had Full Power Super Saiyan technically uh, as, a, like, a fan name for... Uh, when Goku and Gohan mastered Super Saiyan in the Hyperbolic Time Chamber. Um, but I guess I guess they just decided to go with that, even though it was already really taken in the fan community. Um, I can't blame them, though. After we got Super Saiyan Blue, that was... <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan was kind of done, but then we also got Super Saiyan Blue, which is, like, really? <laughs> so I guess name, you know, them picking names was a little bit hard for them. But anyway, so it looks like we're getting GT Goku right now as our first character in the game. And I know in this game, you actually get different variations uh, of the same character. So I'm just wondering which one we're going to get right now. Maybe a hero or a berserk version. Usually, usually I think the berserk uh, version of GT Goku is the one that we get. But let's see right now. No, okay. I don't even know which one that is, but that art is awesome. Um... If you guys know what EL stands for, I might have to look it up, you know, after the video. But this is definitely not one I've seen before in the beginning of the game. I did try this one time on my actual physical 3DS after I bought it. And I'm pretty sure I got the hero version. Um, but then a friend I know had the berserk version. I've never seen this one before. Okay. Alright, so we gotta fight a Cyberman. <laughs> Do we really need two people to fight a Cyberman right now? Like, come on. Come on, even like... Even Turtle can handle a Cyberman. Guys, don't take that, don't take that seriously. <laughs> Turtle, <laughs> Turtle cannot be a Cyberman. I mean, he can. His shell might be hard, but he will definitely die. So you know, <laughs> don't take my what I just said for you know truth or fact, because you know I don't want to be I don't want to be labeled as a you know misinformer of information for people. Okay. So, I don't know what the scatter does right now, but it looks like it affects 10% of something, and it works for level 1s, and we are level 1 right now, so that's kind of perfect. Look how great this game looks, god, I mean, they're using uh, Budokai 3 models, because obviously it's Dimps that made the game, but it looks so good at uh, the 1080p that I'm playing on right now for the, for the uh, 3DS game, or 3DS emulator. Um, now, if only we could get these models in a kind of remastered I don't know no, no I'm sorry I was gonna say remastered Budokai 3 but that game has already been out that's the HD collection but if only we can get a new Budokai 3 or Budokai game with these models with extra characters you know styled like this like if we can get super characters like this for a Budokai 5 or Budokai 4 whatever you want to call it I mean we did get infinite world but uh so I guess it would be Budokai 5 um but yeah I would totally welcome a new Budokai game with updated models just like this and a lot more characters. Okay, Goku, you do your work right there. Oh yeah, and by the way, by the way, I'm using a controller right now to play this game. Obviously, you can use the keyboard, but this is a lot easier. You, the timing for the meter is a lot easier to push um, instead of the keyboard. And I can use the analog stick all I want, so it's, it's, it's wonderful. And I'm pretty sure with the emulator we can try, um, there's a multiplayer function, and I know that you can play against other people in this game, I just don't know how to set it up yet, um, but that's something I really want to look into for the future, because I want to give you guys uh, multiplayer uh, battles. Now, I do have one friend that does also have the game, so you may see something from the future from both of us in there, maybe maybe some kind of series, maybe, I don't know, I gotta talk it over with them, because this is just the idea that I have right now in my head. But yeah, that's definitely something I want to do in the future with this game. Especially when uh, Super Dragon Ball Heroes comes out. There should be no reason people don't get that game. Because this is the first Switch game. And Switches are region free. <laughs> okay? So if you love Dragon Ball and you want something new that you've never tried before, make sure you get that game when it comes out. 
And this way, if it doesn't get localized, at least Japan will be like, oh, you know what? There is an actual, you know, fan base for this game. Oh, my God, look at that perfect right there. But, yeah, there's a fan base for this game if people are importing it. That means that the next game that we do get, if this one doesn't become localized, will come over here. Also, if you guys didn't know, back in the summer, around the uh, convention, you know, time... Oh, God, my characters are pretty low. Uh, let me move Goku back. Yeah, during the convention time, especially uh, San Diego Comic-Con, um, they tried to have the arcade machines here with the physical cards for Dragon Ball Heroes, and that was great. I actually get, got to try it. Um, I wish I took pictures of it when I went to Comic-Con, um, but it felt really good to play the game with the actual physical cards. And we know, I know we're never going to get that, um, you know, arcade-style machine, um, but this is honestly the next best thing to get it on a, on a console version. So I can't, I can't, you know, fault, uh, I believe, Dimps. Or whoever's uh, whoever's uh, producing the game right now at this point, uh, you know, to go of the console version because they had to give it out somehow. And pretty much arcades, besides the ones in Japan and other countries, I believe, um, are pretty much a dying breed. Like, you, it's really hard to find one down in the states where you know where we're at right now. If you guys are watching this, like the only one I know of at the top of my head that's still famous or still popular is Dave and Buster's. But they never have any like really good arcade games that stick around for a while, you know. That's the issue. There's just not enough. Uh, there's not not enough of a demand for arcades here. <laughs> People just like staying home and playing video games, um, you know, with their friends for technically free. <laughs> yeah, you gotta play pay for the game. You gotta pay for online now, but technically it's free, and you get to do it in the comfort of your home. But nothing beats the uh, fill of a good arcade and multiple games to play. Alright, so we got leveled up to level 2 for note. Um, and I'm pretty sure Goku might level up too, because we did use him. Maybe to level 3? Or 2? I don't know. Usually the, the characters that we get... Oh, usually the characters that we get get leveled up a lot higher than our, our CSCs, I believe. But he is on the same track as us, so that's good. And then we got a Cyberman. Who wants a Cyberman, though? I'm probably never going to use him past the first battle, to be honest with you. The art is nice. <laughs> the art is really nice, but I'm probably never going to use him past the next battle. Just because I know I need a third character. And we got some kind of Hercule belt. Looks pretty common, though. <laughs> Dub, because it says a C right there. That's not funny, Sev. Don't say that ever again. <laughs> Alright, Trunks. Thank you for congratulating us on our mission, because I think that's what you're doing right now. Um, let's let me get to my work and let's get through this world right now, okay? I have a feeling the next person would be Raditz, even though Cybermen came after Raditz. Um, but let's see. God, that's so creepy to see a Cyberman, like, happy and wave at you, like your friends. I mean, now we're friends, but that's just so weird. I was expecting him to kind of, you know, jump and give you a hug or something. Kind of like he did with Yamcha, you know, he just gave him some big love right there. <laughs> okay, so we're just really going to try to, you know, get through the first stage or world um, in this video. I don't want to do too much because I just want to kind of get used to playing the game again for you guys. And this is kind of a test, just a test to see how you guys enjoy the gameplay or, you know, my commentary overall. God, Trunks, you talk a lot. Like, for someone, for someone that does very little, he has a lot to say. <laughs> oh my god, that's still... What's it gonna be next? A, a Cell Jr. that's our friend? That's just ridiculous. Oh, I don't think I can go here yet, but let's see. Nope, this music means something bad, so I'm not even gonna worry about this place. It just looks all mysterious, too. That's why I wanted to go over to it. Like, that looks interesting. Like, there's gonna be a big boss battle, but I don't know what I need to do to get that one. Maybe just completing this one first? I don't I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Okay. So they made Raditz look super OP with that aura right now. Like, he does not need electricity. He would never get electricity anyway. Because he is too dumb to not train. Like, or to train, I guess you could say. I don't think Nappa and Raditz. Um, maybe even Turles. I think Turles will train. Um, but still, definitely Raditz. He's too cocky not to. Or to do training. I keep getting that mixed up. I'm sorry, guys. 
I mean, look at look at the beginning of Z when he came down to you know Master Roshi's island. He acted like he was the big bad and everything. <laughs> but then the second Piccolo and Goku showed up and you know took off the weighted training clothes and kind of powered up a little bit, he got scared. He was he was nothing. He was nothing to him apparently. You know, or at least at least in the standpoint of you know training. He was still stronger, but they had more skill. Okay, here we go. So, you know, the cool thing about this game is that you don't have to take an, uh, an individual opponent out of this, uh, before you can take out the boss. You can just take down their life, which is actually really good. And I think we're at a pretty, pretty good place right here, so I'm not even going to move them on the field. I don't want to, you know, kind of deplete my energy already in the beginning of the match. Let me ask you this, guys. Instead of Dokkan Battle, if, if we got if we got uh, Super Dragon Ball Heroes or Dragon Ball Heroes in general as a mobile game, would you guys like that? Instead of Dokkan Battle, I mean that we could. Oh, how how catchy! Let me say this. Let me say this actually instead. So, as an alternative, oh damn, that sucked. As an alternative to Dokkan Battle, would you prefer Dragon Ball Heroes as a mobile game? That's the better question. I mean, personally. Personally, I think this game would be too much for the mobile uh, platform where, you know, Dokkan Battle is just, you're just popping bubbles. That's all you're doing. It takes no skill. It just takes luck. And I guess you can say timing when you do a Dokkan attack. Um, but it's no luck, I mean, no skill whatsoever. Now, this game, this game is kind of similar. Um, you had to have luck to get the, you know, the cards that you want. And then you have to, just, ah, sorry, I can't talk. Obviously, you had to have uh, perfect timing for the meter. Just like now, like I almost got a perfect, um, but I did it so late, so I didn't get one. Uh, but personally, personally though, um, I would honestly, I would honestly want to try uh, Dragon Ball Heroes on my phone, you know, just to see how it'll work. I don't know how like we will have the whole field on it. Um, maybe you can have one if you're playing. Obviously, you're gonna have to play against other people just to make it more, you know, interesting to uh, players. Um, so maybe you can just see one field. On each person's phone, and then during the attack animations, that's when you'll see the other characters interact. You know, not at the same time, obviously, because you can't. Depending on your phone, some people might have a really small screen. You can't, you can't make that uh, field, you know, to fit the small screens. It's just gonna have to fit the big screens. Um, so they can just show each field on their respective phones, and then when it comes time to do a battle, that's when you can show all the characters interacting and battling. Now, the servers would have to be, honestly, really great, and you would have to have no lag whatsoever. Um, kind of like in Legends, like, you know, I know in Legends, I don't play it too much, uh, but I know in Legends, if you're playing, you know, PvP, if there's lag, it's just gonna kind of kill your drive and kill your, um, kill your, any kind of momentum that you have in the game. I keep getting these perfects, and now I know it's gonna get a lot harder for the meter, eventually, <laughs> but I'm enjoying this right now, especially playing with the controller. Playing on your 3DS, honestly, is a little bit... Not hard, not tedious, but it's just, it's just so annoying because the buttons are so small that you really have to like, you know, make sure you're pushing the right one. <laughs> there you go, no, just go ahead and take a stretch because you earned it. Now, God, this something looks a little bit weird about her eyes though. I'm not sure if, if it's because I'm playing it in a, you know, upgraded resolution, but her eyes just look a little bit weird. I just noticed that, <laughs> especially her left one or her right one, depending on how you're looking at it. Okay, we got some Saiyan armor. I'm assuming that's going to be for defense. The Bonsho fan, though, that should be for offense. Something 25% down? Okay, that's going to be obviously for the opponent. It's not going to make me have 25% down. If it did, that would be the worst item or worst accessory in the world. Cool, okay, so we just need... We should be able to level up again. Okay, so we got level 4 now, and we're almost halfway to level 5 with the amount of points we have, so that's really good. I, I like that they kind of give you additional points depending on how well you do in battle, on top of, you know, the ones you already get normally. Because that makes the leveling up system... Ah, I can't talk again! Dang it, Seb! <laughs> the leveling up system in the beginning, it makes it a lot easier to get those additional points. Okay, we got Raditz. All right, we got him to our team too. It's not a surprise. I mean, we got Cyberman. Why, why, why not take a Raditz? I guess. 
Okay, so we got more Cybermen. Look, the art looks a lot better on that one, and I definitely love the Raditz one. I want to see if I can take a better look at that, though, before we uh, get on to the next match. I wonder if Raditz knows that's his brother, especially since he's small and his skin color is different. Tell me, why did Goku's skin color become, you know, tan or brown in GT? I mean, he was never this dark, <laughs> you know, in Dragon Ball, Super, uh, Dragon Ball Super Z or even uh, Dragon Ball. He was never this dark. So, I mean, does this, like, the wish being granted change his, you know, pigmentation or something? I don't know. Like, it's just kind of, that's, a, that's personally a dumb decision right there. I'll take, I'll say that. That was a dumb decision in GT. A lot of bad things in GT happen, but this just doesn't make any sense. Yeah, a whole lot of talking and not a whole lot of working trunks, okay? That's all you're good for, man. That's all you're good for. Especially as a, a you know, time patroller. If, you, if you've ever played the universe, <laughs> time patrol trunks is probably the worst trunks, okay? The worst trunks ever. He gets he does not get shit done. I'm sorry for cussing. I don't I didn't want to cuss in this video, but <laughs> he does not get anything done. The Z trunks and super trunks are better than time patrol trunks. Because they actually did something. Now, Time Patrol Trunks, he's just like, oh, the, the time is in danger. I'm going to send you out to do some work. And then when stuff gets bad, that's when he'll kind of show up. But he's pretty weak. <laughs> at least, uh, you know, at least in the beginning. I know, I think he gets Super Saiyan 3 or something later on. But he is weak as hell in the beginning from what I read in uh, the Heroes manga. Or seen in, like, in, you know, Heroes trailers. Especially in Xenoverse 2 again. Or Xenoverse 1 and Xenoverse 2 just does not compare to his other counterparts. Okay, so we unlocked what looks like the... Uh, damn it, I can't remember the name. The Time Chamber or whatever? No, it's not the Time Chamber. Um, crap, you guys are going to hate me for this because I, I did play through Universe 1 <laughs> and I just forgot the name. Um... Time Vault? Is it the Time Vault? I can't remember. Anyways, anyways, guys. We defeated the first world, or the first void. We got Cyberman, we got Goku, we got Raditz. So we got some new additions to our team. This is what we're probably going to be playing with in the next video that's coming up. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below and subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see more. Um, the next video is going to be up tomorrow on Friday, so if you guys really want to check out what happens next, please come back to the channel. I would really appreciate it. And if you guys want to leave down a comment on what I can improve on for you guys to make it more enjoyable for you, definitely leave that down below because I will take any kind of uh, constructive criticism that you guys can get or give to me and so I can make myself better for you guys all right but anyways that's all I have to say for today guys and I hope you enjoyed the video again I'll catch you guys later